This video is sponsored by YouTube Red. Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to a brand new Q&A here on the Flick Pick channel. And it's been a long time since we've done one of these. Too long. And the only thing I can say is, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. If I had the money and time, I would fly you all here, douse you in Sour Patch Kids, and give you hugs. And it would be a magical and mystical time. And the other thing I wanted to say is, sometimes in life, life throws lemons at you, and what you're supposed to do is catch those lemons and make lemonade out of them. Except I didn't do that. I got hit in the face with those lemons, knocked unconscious, and I woke up three days later. But now, let's dive into your questions where we talk about movies, life, YouTube, you name it, I'm gonna answer the questions, anything and everything, so here it goes. Favorite 80s movies. The 80s were a glorious time for movies. Some of my favorite movies from the 1980s are The Karate Kid and a little movie that came out in 1987. It's an underdog story. Ha, 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 ha! Over the top, winner takes all, loser takes the fall. Ooh, that felt good. And speaking of 1980s movies with underdog stories, once again, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by YouTube Red and they have an upcoming original series called Cobra Kai. And it's based on one of the best 1980s underdog stories of all time, the original Karate Kid movie. And one of the best things about this series is it does star the original Karate Kid himself, Ralph Macchio, and the original Johnny, Billy Zapka. Definitely check out Cobra Kai, the upcoming YouTube series, which premieres on YouTube Red in May 2018. And when it comes to this upcoming series, I'm truly excited because The Karate Kid is one of my favorite films of all time, and Johnny from The Karate Kid is one of my favorite movie characters of all time. Some people might call him a bully. I think he's a hero. In many ways, Johnny was a very conflicted character, and I always related with Johnny more than I did Daniel from The Karate Kid. Maybe I just want to wear a skeleton outfit and sweep the leg. I don't know. The series picks up 20-something years after the original movie, and now Johnny and Daniel are friends. So I can't wait to see that dynamic and how it plays out. I'm truly excited for this. Like, I never thought we would get to see a series called Cobra Kai. And now we're getting it. And if you want to check out more things about Cobra Kai or watch the trailer, I'll put the link down below in the description box. Check it out. I'm excited. I can't wait. And once it does come out, I'll talk more about it. But since The Karate Kid is a story about an underdog rising up to beat the odds, I thought I'd share my own personal underdog story. And it relates to YouTube because it does relate to another question. So I'll just tie it all together right here. I remember back in 2010, that was a long time ago, when I first started making YouTube videos down in my parents' basement with my craptastic flip camera. Those things looked awful. Like, just look at this video right here. Look at that. Never mind how weird I look, I look like an alien. But in all seriousness, I remember just wanting to connect with other people and talk about movies. And when I first started, I never thought I would get more than nine subscribers. And today I have 250,000 something subscribers and it's given me so many great opportunities. Uh, but the important thing to remember is I started with one subscriber and I think it was probably like my mom or something, I don't know. And to sum it up, I never thought I would be able to turn a passion and a hobby into a career where I was given so many opportunities and I've gotten to meet so many great people and, and viewers, it, it just blows my mind. And um, so that's my underdog story. And let's go to the next question before a tear trickles out of my eye. What happened to you, man? Why did you move again? The world may never know. That is a question I get a lot of lately. I'm still here, I'm still making YouTube videos. And like I said, I am sorry for the inconsistent videos. I don't really have an excuse other than Sometimes when I feel a little bit down, I don't have the creative juices and energy to make the videos I want to make. There's been a few videos where I have recorded those videos and I go to edit those videos and I think to myself, that is not as good as I can do. That's not what I want to make. And I pretty much throw them in the recycling bin on my computer. I don't know, maybe just maybe I've felt slightly depressed and I don't like to use the word depressed because I don't feel like I deserve to use that word. Um, I feel like there's other people that truly are depressed and I feel like I can overcome my issues, um, but really it's just a lack of motivation, creativity and, and if I can't give you guys 125%, I, I just, don't feel like I deserve to upload a YouTube video. And the best way I can explain it is over the course of the last three or four months, there's been a lot of different life changes. I did move from South Carolina to Akron, Ohio. Relationships ended. 
and I'm off to a new adventure, a new start, and um, <sighs> that's life sometimes. So that's what happened, but I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on YouTube. I just needed a little bit of downtime. But the important thing is, I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to surrender, and I'm not quitting YouTube. If anything, I'm going to make more YouTube videos than ever. I have a list of 900 ideas, and I want to accomplish all those ideas. And this summer will be the time I do that. I almost feel like Bruce Wayne down in the pit, and I'm crawling to the top to go back and save Gotham City. What's worse, Indiana Jones 4 or Die Hard 5? Hmm... Both are terrible. Both are letdowns, and they're both movies and franchises that I want to love. Um, but I would probably go with Die Hard 5, because that did not feel like a movie. Bruce Willis did not feel like John McClane. He felt like old guy who wants a paycheck. Um, and the story was incomprehensible. The directing was awful. The st just nothing about that movie felt grand or well done or worth putting the, the name Die Hard on the poster. On the other hand, Indiana Jones 4 was not as good as we wanted it to be. Let's be honest, it was a bad movie. It was directed by Steven Spielberg. There was a few nice action sequences. And Harrison Ford actually felt like he wanted to be there and he was trying. It felt like Indiana Jones somewhat. Except then you had Shia LaBeouf swinging in the jungle like a monkey. I don't know what they were doing. Character-driven movies are plot-driven movies. What is your preference? That's a good question. I'm going to go with character-driven movies because without good characters, the plot does not matter. You have to care about the people in the film or everything they're doing is irrelevant. So yeah, first and foremost, great characters can carry a movie. Sometimes if the characters are so great, you almost don't even care or notice the plot. So I'm gonna go with great characters. What's your favorite movie of the year so far? Uh, I'm gonna go with A Quiet Place. I do have a review of The Quiet Place coming. I already recorded it. Look out for that. I love that movie. That was the movie I didn't expect it to be. It blew me away. It was suspenseful. It was fun. It was scary. I cared about the people in the movie. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with A Quiet Place. Who knew Jim from The Office could kick so much ass and direct a good movie? What are your expectations for Infinity War? I just hope to feel something, some emotions. I hope to care about what happens. I hope something bad and painstaking happens. I don't know, maybe Hawkeye dies. I don't know that for a fact. That's just a theory. It could be wrong, but it's... <laughs> I already know people down below, John, that's a spoiler. And now it will probably happen, but who cares? It's just Hawkeye. But on a quick side note, when I watched the trailer for Avengers Infinity War, the one shot that sends chills down my spine is when Captain America catches Thanos' fist in midair. It reminds me of The Dark Knight Rises where Bane catches Batman's fist during the street fight. And I love things like that. So I just want to feel emotions. I hope the movie blows me away. I can't wait. Best prop you have in the Flick Cave. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I would probably go with... There's so many. I, I'm not quite sure. I have a whole closet over there. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with this right here. This right here is my custom collectible from my good YouTube pal, Cosplay Chris, who lives in Australia. The guy's super talented, blows me away. He actually customized this for me a couple years back, and I love this thing. He took a boring, plain toy and made it look awesome and spectacular and truly looks like Batman. It even has the Ben Affleck scruff right there. It's super detailed, and I've had this since 2016. I mean, it even has a real leather cape and... Just look at, look at that. Look at that little detail right there with shoe polish. Mwah, I love it. So yeah, definitely check out my good pal Cosplay Chris. His YouTube channel is phenomenal. He customizes toys and does cosplay and makes costumes. The guy is incredible. I highly recommend checking him out. Once again, Cosplay Chris, go to his channel right now, subscribe, and tell him the flick pics sent you. Your favorite 4K Blu-ray in terms of both movie and UHD quality. Ooh, another tough question. I like that. Hang on, let me go grab it. Give me like two seconds. Rictus! Erectus. I'm gonna go with Mad Max Fury Road on 4K Blu-ray. If you own a 4K TV, this is a must have because the picture quality is phenomenal. You guys know I love the movie, but just the, some of the visuals and how vivid this movie is, it just, it blows your eyeballs out of their sockets. And I've watched this probably 
20 times and it looks phenomenal on 4k some it almost looks so good that it looks fake like some of the flames that shoot out of the vehicles they look artificial and um but i like the way it looks so yeah that's my pick what camera and microphone do you use i gotta do it you know i have to do it <clears throat> my name is morgan freeman and I use a Rode video mic. Um, it wasn't very good at the end there. But anyway, I use a Rode video mic. Uh, I've had the same microphone since, gosh, I think 2012. And it's still working pretty good. I, it still holds up. I rather enjoy it. And as far as um, my camera, I use a Canon 70D. And I have no complaints with the camera so far. Just talking about this movie for the few seconds that I did made me want to go watch it again. So I think I might do that. So anyway, guys, thanks for all the great Q&A questions. I really appreciate it. And you guys can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. When I'm not making YouTube videos, that's the place to find me. And like I said earlier, look out for Cobra Kai hitting YouTube Red in May. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to watch the trailer. Once again, I cannot wait. And as always, guys, make sure you leave your comments, your questions, your concerns, or your advice down below in the comments section. And yes, I do read all of my comments. You don't want to know when. As always, guys... Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. That way I can see you next time. I'm going to take this and watch it.